Uh, is there anything we wanted to cover in the uh, like ah? Oh, do we want to talk about any of this Apple stuff or just cover it in Iowa? The annual, the annual school is, uh, whatever. I'm not interested, really. Oh, uh, well, we kind of have to bring this one up since we got into all the trademarkiness. Big surprise! I, I Apple remember. doesn't own iBooks! <laughs> so, I didn't own it 12 years ago, did they? Ah. Uh, it, 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 they do at Apple? Does Steve Jobs say, look at all the names we don't own. I want to use that one. Uh, well, I think they have poor... I, honestly, my mother, like I said, is in patent law. I think they just have a, a lawyer that sucks at discovery. <laughs> they, they have to. You pay, you pay your attorneys to actually discover patents and trade. No, it, 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 for, for a company with Apple's cash reserves... Wait a minute, wait a minute, Apple doesn't give a shit. They have enough capital to say, you know what, I don't care. We'll pay them out of court, we'll settle. That's it. And it's good to have the name. Oh, okay, it, it, okay, it, it, so, it, it, so, so, so what you're saying is there's two explanations for this. Either Apple is a preak and is just stealing as a way of life, or they're incompetent. So either they're an asshole or they're a moron. <laughs> Okay. I I I I'm guessing uh, these are the ones you added, Kami. Why Apple? Oh yeah. Uh, the uh, secret sauce about Apple. Um, what? They have the Apple employee employee train mat was leaked with um, different we training. We're talking about the secrets from Apple's genius bar, or what? What are we? What are we on? Um, there's a whole bunch of rules in the Apple train mail. Like they can't say the word unfortunately. They they can send this say as it turns out. You know. Okay, this is all right. I'm looking for an iPhone that's a, that has an SD card slot. Well, as it turns out, Apple doesn't 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 offer that here. What you is know? this? I'm lost. Where is this? What, what, Third story. What? Uh oh. Okay. Store secrets. Yeah, I'm on that that link. Okay. Okay. Yeah, secrets from Apple's Genius Bar. That's the article. Well, I, you know, none of that surprises me, and that's not unique to Apple. Yeah, that you know that that's I mean, everywhere. But it's right. It's not that unique. You know, it, it's ba basically if you ever work customer service anywhere, you get put through this training process to limit liability. Never say the following words. Neither imply or defer that you may or may not be responsible, or that the following may or may not have happened. Never you indicate. Know, like, <laughs> is this not? Is this not? Is this not reminiscent of like the mid nineties? I mean, when Microsoft was on top, everything was about scrutinizing Microsoft and Windows 95 and making fun of the plug-and-play demo. And now that Apple is really on top for its markets, it's, I don't know, it's like... Uh, I, 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 I think it's... Um the, I mean, enough, en enough people are. Well, no, and that wasn't the one I was talking about. I, I was talking about the the next one because, like, I, I have no idea what any of these stories are. Kami added them. Um, say what? Say there, you have one here. Why Apple doesn't unlock iPhones? What's that about? What do you mean? Oh, oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, this, this one is the uh, the first story. The first story is why. It's like a, it's from a week ago or two, or a week a couple days ago. It says um one um is PC. It's just something funny I found. PC World Magazine says unlock iPhones. Why Apple won't do it? You know, like with three G and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And, so that's not really even relevant. Uh, and, then, and then one week later, <laughs> Apple now offers um, unlocked iPhone ports. Yeah. In the US. Well, but uh, it, it's really an empty thing because it's still the same hardware and it's not, I mean, it, they're GSM phones, right? Well, that was the so can, I, can, I, can, I, can I get back to this, the, the, his original article, though? Why don't I say they unlocked? I mean, because I, I actually believe that Apple will, let's wait for the I, uh, iPhone 5. I, I, I'm very curious to see if they do the CPMA. No, 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 I had an idea as a fail because... Like, oh, um, like a week before the newer article came in, they said they won't offer it. And then one week later, oh, Apple now does sell them. <laughs> yeah, no, Apple does Apple's sell. Apple's going to try to keep things hush. That's, that's what they're going to do. we got to wait till it happens. But, but 
They're already but, selling unlocked phones. I mean, it, it will. What do you wear? Not in the U.S. Well, the, there is. You're a, here in America. Yeah. Because the GSM ones, of course. But they're GSM. Who are you going to take it to? A AT and T is buying T-Mobile. Name me the other nationwide. I don't consider that unlocked. So it's AT&T, yeah. AT&T, or one of those GPGSM phones. Yeah, you can, you can take... A, yeah, it's like it's kind of a hollow no, victory at best. That's what I want to talk about. This is important because I tweeted about this. The, a San Francisco employee wants to start unionizing under the app. You know, they want to have form a union under the app. So this is crazy. This, see, you know what? I'm sorry. This is where my politics come out. Uh, Apple's going to shut down, then go home. Like Ronald, like Ronald Reagan shut down the uh, uh, everybody who went on strike with the aviation, and then overnight made flying cheaper. Uh, yeah, they can go home, okay. And uh, I, I don't want to pay anymore. I want for a freaking Apple computer. They will destroy the Apple retail centers. You don't need. Uh, to use no the offense, but in my opinion, the Apple computers are already too goddamn I, expensive. I, 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 okay, well, they ever do. They're not. When we did, we you and I did the Mac Pro. You and I did the Mac Pro. It's on video. Uh, on things, we also did the iMac. Okay, there's not much more to compare. Uh, <laughs> yes, begrudgingly. Uh, the thing of it is, is that, is that, look, I don't compare this to, to custom builds. Of course, I just built a computer. Okay. For, for like sixty percent less what I pay for my Mac Pro. Okay. But the thing of it is, and it's, and it's more powerful. But the thing of it is, is that most users don't do this. Okay? Most people that I service are like, what? What is RAM? They think it's a hard drive. Okay? So let's, let's put things in perspective. Okay? But this bothers me. Oh! Because they are jealous. These these employees that I'm reading are jealous that they, that they cannot work in the new mothership circular uh, V... You know, the v is that is that their complaint? The but they're not going to get a corporate position. Uh oh, well, I want a more important act. So let's let's unionize. I say go to hell. Get the hell out. You know, I, I worked at a, a grocery store called called Apple Tree down down here in Texas. They don't exist anymore. And uh, unions have a place for some industries. But I will tell you right now, in most industries, hell no. Caterpillar is one of the best examples. Uh, in how I, 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 I unfortunately can't read the story because the link in here goes to some Xbox story. Are you serious? Really? Yes. So, oh, come and repost that. Here, I'll post the link. If, <laughs> it's, if you scroll down, I'll post it in the, here at the Google Docs. If you scroll down. Um, oh, wrong one. Oops. Here. There it is. If you scroll down, um, you'll read about because I, I I read about this effort and I tweeted about it and I was like, here we go, the freaking unionization. I I love Steve Jobs' response to that idiot question about what is what is the the, the, the new building going to provide for Cupertino? You know, it's like, hey, you want free Wi-Fi? You know, please. Uh, okay, you know? we we we've said we've said that I, enough we, time. It's the same thing. They're going to tell them to go to hell. What are you talking about? Well, no, it's like so. So basically, they're only they're insult. They're they're complaining that they don't get to work in the corporate headquarters. Yeah, because the positions are rare. Of course not. Apple. You I work in the retail store. Of course, you don't work in the corporate headquarters. You work where your fucking retail store is. Exactly. It's like Apple's like. What are you going to do for us? You, you know what? I always said that the geniuses were anything but. But this no, just not, proves it. <laughs> Hey, this is about, I mean, hey, if you work in retail, you're staying, unless you change your skill set. I mean, if you're an Apple employee and you're in retail, that's what you do. It's your retail. You're, I mean, your skill set is retail. Now, unless you have a skill set that you have not applied for at Apple. In other words, you're a programmer, but for some reason you decided to get a job being a salesperson or a genius in an Apple store that you chose to go in the retail element rather than applying for uh, the Apple's positions. 
you know, there was there were several times I was uh, I was tempted to apply for app, you know, for Apple, but I don't want to. I don't want to freaking move. Well, uh, it, but, but don't ta- don't take this the wrong way, but this honestly doesn't surprise me because both in Apple stores and Best Buys and everywhere, d- 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 have you ever, um, you know, like there's that quote unquote geek behind the customer service or in the repair or like in, in the Apple stores it's the genius bar or son and they think they know everything right but, I know yeah but, I but, but what, what, what I they are know. is tier one customer service and they don't really know anything they just <laughs> <laughs> but they think they think they're God's gift to tech <laughs> Then be I'm sorry. If you if you want to stop learning, that means you're worthless in six months because exactly. the, the shit's gonna change. I'm sorry. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Innovate and keep up, or go the fuck away. I'm sorry. It's just that no. simple. <laughs> and I'm sorry. This is my politics. I hope I never stop learning because uh, as a programmer, we have to stay on top of stuff all the time. You know, it's like the new day, especially when you do stuff for Microsoft. Crap, it's... <laughs> they just dismiss whole... Well, no, you know, and and you know, and it it, does, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you have someone like Microsoft who's just cutting things out from on, or if you have someone pushing out a sign. At the end of the day, even if it's not changing, you have to keep up with the innovations and the changes and what people are expecting because yes. the answer is not. Oh, well, I'm now lazy. I don't want to learn anymore, and I should get paid hundred dollars an hour for being a salesman. To do, the, yeah, yeah, to do the same thing I did five years ago verbatim, and I'm like, no. <laughs> It doesn't, nothing today works like it did five years ago. If you're doing me something unaltered that you did five years ago, I, no, that's not even worth five bucks. You know? uh, so, Colin, thanks for posting that article because that was something I did get, I was extremely pissed about, um, was this unionizing thing. Now, and, and, and I don't care. People can blame me for being, there are places for unions, but I would say most of the time there's no need for them. Uh, and a lot in the majority of situations there's no need for them. Uh, and, and most of the time when they are in existence the very so thing the, the, uh, the, 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 very, uh, the very thing they're trying to do in helping the employee kills that same employee when they become a consumer because we're all employees and consumers at the same time so what you do that you think you're doing well for a person as an employee you are murdering them on that flip side of the co- when they become a consumer and therefore it's a vicious cycle and therefore that's yeah. my whole you drop the whole the whole point but there are industries that where unions are successful in, in, in managing price and keeping prices st- stable but there are times when unions still like F up everything like the teachers union I hope Steve Jobs just laughs or, 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 or well see now they see he can't he can't do this he can't be he's not going to be nice to these people I mean, uh, and you know, like he was with that, that council member in Cupertino asking those <laughs> stupid ass questions. But, uh, you know, I oh hope he's talking to Steve Jobs. You know what? You know what? I, this is a video just came in my head. Something like Steve Jobs dressed up as the emperor and he comes to the Apple store and he just goes. <laughs> and 
just like Sith lightnings them. I mean, that just makes sense. How does that freaking make sense? Oh, well, since I'm not going to make a corporate position, I want to unionize as a salesperson. Go work at JC Penn. You know, get the hell out. That's all. I'm, that, that, let's move on because this is going to go on forever. Okay? Uh, I, Hey, call me after the show. You need to fix these links because there's a couple of them. Only one of them's broken. Uh, this one, the employee manual one. No, it's not. This, it's fine. Oh, Google Docs is failing. The central server is failing, or is that because you're running off of a client? Hmm. What? Uh, why is Julie working? Are you running off the, the Google server or are you running off your client? No, I... I it, that was the one... The, the employee one was the one he had going to the Xbox. Yeah, but I, I just clicked on it. This is what I got. I got this link. Is that an Xbox link or what? Oh, no, the, the I Xbox changed app. it, but I didn't realize that that oh, was. Oh, did you change it? I didn't know. Then if you changed it, I didn't notice. Yeah, I, I changed it to this one, but that's yeah. Wait, that, that, you, okay. that, that's not the impl That's not the. Yeah, this person uses ASP. <laughs> oh, okay, that's the loyalty one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it needs to be the other one, Kami. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I was kind of busy. I was trying to multitask. Yeah, okay. well, yeah. You made it go to an Xbox, and I thought it was supposed to be other, but no, it's the employee manual one. Because I want to... We I talked about it. I want to put I, that in the show notes. We, right, we, 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 we give the... the I, the com is using a, at the server pages. Awesome. Thank you, Mike, for not succumbing to .NET control. Very cool. I love working with clients that... Still use native ASP and, and, and to be damned with freaking .NET bullshit. Awesome. What, 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 what are you on about right now, Bit? That, that was my segue. It's just PC Mag is using Active Server Pages. I can tell. Oh, and yeah. that, and that no, I, 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 I know what you're talking about because it's a whole different. I, I like it. It's like, here's the rules for ASP. Here's the rule for ASP.net. <laughs> like, we're not going on a segue for .NET. Don't get me started on that. Uh, yeah, we could do a, we could do a whole show on that. And that's actually related to education and everything else. That, that, that's a peeve with me. It's probably one of the reasons I'm not fired up to do the show. It's because I'm like, I'm not going to do that. That's a peeve with me. It's one of the reasons I'm firmly over figure out a way to do it with PHP. You know, I used I, to not be like that, but thanks to .NET and people not knowing the difference, I'm like, no, PHP. <laughs> There's a PHP standard. Let's go over here. You know, it's like, uh, okay. Uh, because we're getting off on woo 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 land, and we've gone on who knows what else. This has become the Apple Power Hour, and because this is in no way, shape, or form Apple related, we are going to go on to this. Going back up to the top of the thing. Uh, coming from... Uh, let's say this is my world. Sandy Bridge and Sean McGrath, my world. Yeah, I, that's why I said, like, the rest of this is for iWorld. That that makes more sense to cover there. Yeah. Uh, but going yeah. up... Blackberry. I want to get into Blackberry. Okay. Yeah. Do you have some Blackberry yeah. stories? I didn't have any. I do, but I won't put links up to them. I'm just going to say that there is a story... Well, I guess I will here. There's a story that, um... I'll give it so you can get on the same page. That the reason why a playbook does not have um, the did not have native client was because the BlackBerry Enterprise server could only handle one pin per device. And um, I can attest owning Blackberries in the past that having doing that is true that simultaneously. Uh, uh, I found on my observation that there was a problem in having um, when I had two Blackberries at one time, but it was fine because when I mean, I guess what I'm getting at is that if it were working concurrency, it's not going to happen. It's my experience. Now I haven't been with Blackberries in a while, but when I had Blackberries in the B, BES and BIS, which you know you have the Blackberry Internet Service providing and Blackberry Enterprise Server. Uh, that the, the pin to device, it, uh, we could not have multiple devices to, to, to this one pin. Now, that said, if you had multiple Blackberries, 
you would log on one, and therefore the other one would defunct, and therefore you could get your email on the other device. And so, if you ha and, and this is getting into the playbook, and that the reason why the playbook doesn't have it was well because there, I guess the, the definition should be there couldn't be concurrent ink clients. But I would say no because either you're on the, the playbook or you're on the BlackBerry, and therefore it would work like it does old school when you have multiple BlackBerry devices for the for your one email account. Uh, now, my thing of it is is that I maintain the same argument that while that is true about the one pin and be into to, to, to the BlackBerry Enterprise server, that if you're on a playbook, you're not on your BlackBerry, so there's not going to be a problem. That my, my original argument is that BlackBerry originally designed it to say that we wanted to tether services from a BlackBerry to the playbook, and that this is going to be a an extension of a BlackBerry device. Then later on, changed their mind and saying, let's make it more standalone, which I again argue why. Well, be, because it's what the consumer is expecting. I guess so. I guess so. So the what they're doing is, is they can they can they can definitely make two accounts going to uh, they can handle they they can I'm sure that they, there's not a problem in doing it, but security comes into question. And they're yeah. like, well, wait a minute. And they're like, why don't you use IMAP and all these other things? Look, BlackBerry is all about their security. They are an enterprise provider. They're, they're now trying to make a device that is gumbo in terms of let's have fun and let's have enterprise. And because that's where the consumers, uh, the wave, the tidal wave is right now, where Apple is, is driving this this, this little yeah, consumer. Yeah, but it's, if, if, if um, say if, um, um HP, they can make money with the Elite Book, and Dell can make money with the Latitude. Why can't um, uh, Brent make money with the Blackberry, you know? Well, like, you mean the that's Playbook. That's what you're saying. There is a profit center to be made, sure. Oh, yeah, and the Playbook, too, yeah. Yeah, they've already, sold, they've already outsold the Zoom. They sold 500,000 units versus the 250,000 that the Zoom did in the same period of time. So, well, um, so well, let's be honest. Let's all be honest. The, the Zoom sucked, yeah. No, I mean, the, 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 the Zoom device not so bad the zoom price points the way in which it was marketed the the way you could only get it through Verizon with the data plan from what the fuck it's like, it, like there were a lot of things wrong with the zoom package yeah. but yeah, not I, the, I, I, I agree with you because I'm tired of this for instance Gruber is saying that there's uh, uh, there's 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 uh, there's, 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 there's Clayton Morris review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. And here's what it's stated. The Android Honeycomb software that powers the device is still bugging. Oh crap. I've used Honeycomb. And they say, oh, um, that the iPad is smooth. I've used iPads. I don't know what planet these people live on. I've had the iPad hang up. I've had it stall. I've had, I've had, Bit, 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 do you honestly want to yeah, know? The, they're living on the, uh, this article will get views if I have an undue bias this way or that way, rather than the actual facts. And, that, and that's what they're doing. It's, it's, un, it's ridiculous that they think that the iPad or even the iPhone, I left the iPhone because it did brick a lot of times. Do you know my web, web, my web OS device is only bricked twice that I can think of now. My iPhone? Holy crap, I had to turn that crap off. And, oh, forget it. It was terrible. I, I, I am sorry. If, if people want, and pundits want to live in a world where they think that everything is seamless in the iOS world versus Android world and that Android is buggy and iOS is not, I, I don't believe them. I'm sorry. And I will say that right now. I don't believe them, period. I've used all iOS devices. I've owned iOS devices. And they are clunky at times and buggy at times. Yeah, uh, on that note, Tiny, how many times did you have to factory reset your iPhone? Lots of times. My wife has to reboot her iPhone 4 constantly. I mean, hello. Uh, 
Probably uh, about ten times the time I had it. But yeah. I think it was women, but I never got it changed out. I, I, I like Apple products, but I don't like when pundits go off and go, oh. Well, Honeycomb just needs a lot of work because the iPad is just so kick-ass. What? <laughs> well, no. It, it, Hey, what are they going to say when they, when Android is on more tablets and their market share is larger? Oh, we're going to resort back to profit share again. Uh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Didn't you hear Apple's keynote? I thought iOS dominated the market. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't like these, these idiotic arguments. I, I get in, like, OS X... You can oh, get no, I, get I, I, I agree with you, but getting back to the playbook, I, I, I think at the end of the day, the problem Rim's going to have is it's a tough sale because the reality is the average end user, the average end user doesn't give a shit, and in today's market, it, oh, 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 black most BlackBerry users disagree on corporate users, and I've known a lot of. BlackBerry users also having an alternative phone. They use a BlackBerry for work because the work demands it because the security is there. Uh -huh. and, and all the features are there that BlackBerry provides. Well, no, no, the, that, that was the thing. Almost every EDS employee, they, ha they had a BlackBerry and a Sprint phone. You know, because right. the EDS had contracts with both, so all right. of, most of their people had both. They had a BlackBerry yeah. for the BlackBerry access and they had a phone. But we're also in an economy where every company is looking to get rid of every bill they can, and there's a number of companies that are, no, we're going to go, why are we paying for two things? And some right. bean counter is going to make the decision, well, even though this is secure, we don't care about corporate security or any of this stuff. And, you know, this is just as good, even though it's not. And I, 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 I see it happening, even though it shouldn't. You know, they're going to just... Yes, and I'm going to repeat something that I, I did, I think, on the last video, is that there was this radio in Houston, but like, it's called Kim the Commando, which is like this technology person that gets on, and it's like a 30-second statement on the radio that's, you know, sponsored, whatever that crap. She went on today and said, oh, there's no iPad match out there, because Samsung just releases stuff and it's not iPad wins again because of XYZ and iPad wins against against a playbook. I get infuriated with that because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, while I know a lot of users with the iPad that use it productively, musicians, I know a lot of musicians that use their iPad productively. On enterprise, what I know, and in the medical field, I don't see shit with the iPad. And they and they just they just laugh at it. Okay? And the, the, the iPad fails on a lot of levels. Now, selling 15 million is great, okay? But that does go into the good marketing, I believe. Because I do, and I will certainly say, that while it was cool to own a device, I bet you a lot of them are collecting dust right now. You know, they're on the coffee table. Maybe they picked them up to do a couple reading, but they're not their main productivity device. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I, will, I will say that now. I'm sorry, and I don't care if people play it or not. I believe that the people, majority of people that just an iPad is still not their main productivity. To, and that's going to get into the business side of things that we argued before. We didn't argue. We discussed this. And I think everybody was on the same page. We all agreed that in our last video is that business bleeds into the home. It sets a template for behavior and product, in productivity. And if other devices do not comply... It's, 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 it becomes on the back burner. And, and that's the thing, that everybody that I know that I, if, and it's a large industry, is that if things cannot come to their house and work, then it's a luxury item that stays that way. I agree with it. It's just, it, it, there, there's, there's a storm of interesting things that have never quite been stacked together quite like they are now and that we're in a we're in a sh we're in a shitty economy uh, at the same time that we're trying to cater to the dumbest people in the world uh, I'm sorry there's no polite way to say that we're, that's what we're trying to do yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're trying. When people stop saying this crap, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the productivity. No, I don't say that too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, ye
my my honest suggestion is like we ask them if they what their PayPal is and just that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, it, it's like because there's literally only one person said the the phrase you had, so like, I guess they win by default. <laughs> <laughs> um, m moving on to something that's just sheer for the sake of what the effing is, completely unrelated to anything. Uh, I can. And the internet conglomerates and everything have now announced that there's going to be a dot whatever domain name. <laughs> Basically, your your dot extensions don't need to be uh, three letters anymore, or you know, two dot three or something. They're not doing that anymore. They're saying you can have like dot hobby and and dot so on. <laughs> Basically. Uh, I don't know if anybody's gonna buy these. It's gonna be a whole new wave of dot infos. You know, it's like the, how uh, honest question: How many people own a dot info or a dot me? Uh, <laughs> you own a dot me, Tiny? <laughs> Actually, I me. I bought my own name. <laughs> Is that Tiny speaking? Yeah. Uh, okay. Say hello, Tiny. Yeah, it's, no, it, it's, I mean, I, I, every time they add these new domain extensions, I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> you know, what's the point? It's, I'm really, and, and uh, every time, they, and more and more, they're adding them with, like, the rules, you can't have them private, yada, yada, so on and so on. I, I don't know if they're doing that with these. I know you can't have a private .us domain, which is why I won't buy them anymore. You know, I, I don't private my domains, but the idea that I have to uptuple verify myself to the U.S. government what? to have a dot. Nope, and, and nobody can do it. If you have privacy, it's being forcefully removed. You have to agree to this thing that goes under penalty of treason to Uncle Sam. I have provided my full name and everything that was given to the Social Security Administration, and yada 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 yada. yada. <laughs> what number was that? Number three, number or number five? Oh, say what? What I meant was that supposed to be number three or number five. I don't know. That's a, uh, uh, the, what, what do y'all think about these dot whatever domains? I, I mean, I think it's uh, it, it does help. I think the field of we need to actually make just URLs. Let's forget the. Uh, I, I, I guess my whole end goal is that let's get DNS to where we don't need dot anything. You know, uh, let's just make. Uh, things more intuitive. I mean, really. Dot us. Dot info. Dot net. Dot gov. Dot org. Well, no, and, and that, dot that, com, that, dot biz. Dot what? I mean, good lord. That is part of why I don't like. The, every time they add a new one of these. It, to me, it's it's moving in the wrong direction. It's like, okay, great, y'all get to sell more things that just make it more of a headache. You know, I, I mean, really, it, it's it, it's gotten to the point now that between typos. Securing a name and so on and so on. If I really want to secure a name for my clients where they can pretty much deal with whatever the heck, and they're just in the U.S. and Canada, they're not international, my honest advice more and more, if they're really doing something full-on business and they want to not lose any traffic to somebody stealing traffic from them, realistically, you're going to spend $1,000 a year registering your domain names. Because you have to get all these different extensions, and you have to get common typos and mistypes. And yeah. Otherwise, somebody, if you get successful, somebody will come in and steal all of those and steal your traffic. You know, it's like, it's like and, I mean, that's ridiculous. You shouldn't have. Yeah, what about people holding a gun to domain names? And say, okay, I'm holding this gun. Don't name hostage. I won't shoot or anything. And I just for some stupid purpose. And I just sell like ten million dollars. Uh, you mean the campers? Yeah, I, I don't like that either. You know, like there, there's there's several domains people want in excess of two hundred thousand dollars for them, and they haven't done a damn thing for them. And some of them have even done things that's gotten the domain blacklisted. <laughs> it's like that's just. Hey, can, can we can we pause here? Because oh, I, I actually this is what I really wanted to get into Microsoft, and I segued and I forgot about it. I want to get into the Nokia N9. Okay, sure. We need, we need to go with that video because that, I think that's pretty significant, right? I mean, that's using the Windows operating system, correct? Okay. 
isn't it, or not? I don't honestly know. Because I mean, I'm just looking at this demo, but I think we need to show the demo. Okay, place a link to the video or something. What is it on Here YouTube? Yeah. Okay, I'll put it all the way at the bottom, guys. Below it, boys. Okay. We've lost our minds and we're gonna go two hours it looks like tonight, so let's go ahead and play this. It's interesting stuff though. It's interesting oh, stuff. Oh I know. <laughs> I right, we'll see if they agree. Alright. Alright, so are you pausing now or what? Uh, I was gonna pause where you said pause. What do you need to go somewhere? Yeah, I'm gonna leave some more. I'm gonna get something to drink or something. I'm thirsty. Uh, if we're actually going to pause, pause, I'm going to go get some Gatorade because it is too freaking hot.